Hey, what is going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the PowerBook G3 Wall Street, which is officially known as the PowerBook G3 series. Introduced in 1998, the PowerBook G3 Wall Street had an entirely new design and it was significantly faster and bigger than its predecessors. It was also one of the final Macs to have a rainbow Apple logo on the design. The PowerBook came equipped with either a 233, 266 or 300 MHz PowerPC G3 processor, depending on the configuration chosen during the point of purchase. On the left hand side we have two expansion slots where a user can insert either two Type 2 PC cards or one Type 3 PC card. Right next to it is a modem slot and a large expansion bay which can be used for a battery. On the right hand side of the computer, we have an expansion bay which can be used for either a CD or DVD ROM drive or a floppy disk drive. There is also a Kensington security slot on the very right. A user can open the cover on the back, which will show all the various I.O. ports. From left to right, we have audio in and out, AC power, Apple desktop bus, serial or modem, Ethernet, SCSI, S-Video out, and VGA out. This PowerBook was pre-installed with macOS 8. However, users could upgrade to macOS 10.2.8 Jaguar thanks to its support for open firmware. However, with ex post facto, Users can upgrade to macOS 10.4.11 Tiger. The controls for volume and brightness were located at the front of the keyboard and can be adjusted accordingly. So that was a quick review of the PowerBook G3 Wall Street. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video.